Hey guys, what's up? It's in the early morning, probably like around 9 something. It's a random name, 951 here, doing another um, Gundam review video. I said I was going to do uh, unpacking, but the box was pretty, uh, not that spectacular. And well, when they put it in the box, the box doesn't exactly fit. So they had to kind of bend the thing. It's all good. It's a gift, and it's not meant to be collect. Or in my, for me, it's not going to be collect. I'd rather open them and play with them than just keep them in the box and look at look at them all day because they have more value in playing with them than they do just looking at them in my opinion. But yeah, so today I have Gundam Death Scythe Hell. This is not the custom, this is not the Endless Waltz unfortunately. I wish I did get that one because that one would have been going to me. But um, the reason why I got this guy because he was cheap. He was going for $12.99 free shipping on eBay. I was like I'm a bit on it, and if I, I'm not going to pay more than 13 because I just make it even. I just put 13 bucks, and surprisingly, no one outbid me by like a penny or nothing. So uh, I got them for 12.99. So it's a nice little gift. Um, it, it was probably on a red tag sale for like 5.99 or something. I ripped out the tag, but um, somebody like sharpied it out with some black sharpie, so you really can see how much it was worth. Or how much it cost at Kmart, because that's where the tag was from, Kmart. But yeah, um, it's pretty cool. He's brand new. Uh, even the bottom part right here, usually that comes unsealed. That's still intact. Overall, he looks pretty pretty cool. His hands look kind of weird, I think. But I mean, I think he looks awesome. He's the yellow variant. He has his little... I guess you would say like a little shield slash saber that comes out of it I think he's got his his death scythe excuse me I can't talk this morning he has a scythe with the two edges on it and then on the back of the box it says collect them all and it shows all the awesome Gundams it shows original wing Gundam right here or wing Gundam zero and it shows death scythe hell which is the one I got show Ultron in the picture, he looks like a version. No, he's on version two because the version two has some weird kind of a uh, has some weird kind of little ears coming out of his head. They're different kinds of antennas. Then you got wing gun the mobile suit. Then you got regular Gundam Death Scythe. Got mobile suit heavy arms, which I have, which is version one. You get. I mean, there's also Sandrock, Shenlong. I want to get version 1 tall geese. He looks really awesome, but they're really hard to find for me at least, and they're not cheap. They're like 50 bucks, brand new in box. Japanese version, I've seen at least. Ep Epion, Mobile Suit Leo, those guys are pretty expensive. Tall geese, too. Uh, he's more common, but I don't like his color scheme. And Mobile Suit Leo Space Mode. Shows some of the characters, I guess. I don't really know. I know this guy's name's Harrow or something. Harrow. And I think he's Wu Fei. And I don't know the rest. Because I've seen them. I've probably seen the show on Toonami like maybe once or twice. But I could have sworn I watched Gene Gundam a lot more. So yeah. <clears throat> Mobile Suit Gundam W. Death Scythe Hell. From the, the Gundam Wing series. Brand new box. Looks pretty awesome. Like I said, I'm looking for the, for the Endless Waltz version because he looks even more awesome, I think. He's got a big old scythe instead of double edged scythe. But uh, nonetheless, this would be a cool one. But as I said, I got this one as a gift for a relative, so hopefully they'll like it. Because uh, the relative of mine said, Oh, where are these over here? I'm like, Oh, these are. Well, I didn't have all the collection, I only had like him. I had uh, Heavy Arms, I think, and I had Arc 7, 8, and probably Burning Gundam. He's like, oh, what are these? I'm like, oh, those are my old toys. He's like, oh, can I have them? I'm like, uh, not really. <laughs> I've had these for, like, forever. He's like, please, can I have one? I'm like, no, not really. So, um, I didn't had him put them away before he, <laughs> he might have stolen them. So, yeah, so, I just got him something as a gift because he forgot something at my house. So, maybe next time when he comes... He'll be able to pick up his the thing he forgot, and I could give him that as a gift. Probably like it. Yeah, so, um, 
like I said, I was working on my panel lining for my Dragon Gundam. Fortunately, the Gundam, I mean the marker, started dripping and uh, dried up. But um, I contacted the seller that I bought it from me. Said no problem, we'll send you another one as soon as it comes back in um, stock. Cause they sold out. I think I bought like the second to last marker. If if you're curious, I bought um, not black color but gray because I don't know. I feel like the black color wouldn't work, even though. The Japanese uh, Alex Gundam has black. I feel like the the gray adds more detail, in my opinion. It's pretty awesome though. I like the panel lining on the foot, I did really good. The leg could have been better, but it looks alright. And then I, I like the how I did the tail and the backpack. But yeah, um, so that's about it for today. And uh, stay tuned. I'll probably be doing some more videos coming up today. Uh, thanks for watching.